Hey, we're from Waterville High School, um, and basically our chemistry classes sampled water throughout the state and tested it for arsenic. So over 2 million Americans are drinking water with high levels of arsenic without even knowing because it's tasteless. Um, this is a problem because it can block energy production and cause serious problems like cancer, liver disease, nervous system, and digestive complications and the loss of limbs and possibly hearing. So arsenic comes from natural sources as well as human caused. So it occurs in the soil as a natural element and spreads into rocks um, and then into like water. Um, humans can cause an increase in arsenic levels by mining and smelting, um, pressure treating lumber, and some agricultural practices. Uh, the EPA has a set maximum containment level goal, or MCLG, of zero parts per billion of arsenic, uh, but the maximum containment level is 10 parts per billion, and if it's slightly over 10 parts per billion, so like 10 to 15, the water doesn't cause immediate harm, but it does eventually cause harm. But in 2001, the MCL changed from 50 parts per billion to 10 parts per billion, and it was changed on the basis of bladder and lung cancer risk due to the long-term exposure of drinking water with arsenic in it at levels higher than 10 parts per billion. Uh, out of the 1,100 te tests that we recorded, we had that 278 didn't know if they were tested before, uh, 404 did no previous testing, and 428 had done previous testing. And the two numbers are concerning of the people who didn't know and the people who hadn't done previous testing, considering how many consequences, consequences there are uh, due to the effects of arsenic. For our arsenic testing procedure, we ran water for five minutes. We filled a 50 milliliter test tube with water up to the 45 milliliter line and then we sent that test tube to Dartmouth College for analysis, and then they gave us our results back. So these are the results from the Waterville section of the testing, and as you can see, there was about 15 cases that went over the dangerous levels of arsenic. And from our data, you can tell that around 40% of Mainers have well water, and that's concerning because it's not regulated to test for arsenic, so they don't know if they're drinking contaminated water. And you can see that some of the troubled spots were in Blue Hill and Trail. So well type affects how much arsenic is in your concentration of your water. Drilled wells have the most amount of arsenic cases because they are drilled into rock, often containing minerals that will allow arsenic into the groundwater of the well. Without proper filtration, the water of these drilled wells can contain high concentrations of arsenic. Typically, dug wells don't have high concentrations of arsenic because the water isn't taken from an area where rocks containing arsenic are prevalent. Drilled wells are more commonly associated with high arsenic levels due to the interaction they can have with groundwater that's come in contact with minerals containing arsenic. So here's a pie chart of the samples which were filtered and unfiltered and unknown amount of filtration. Majority were unfiltered that we sampled and Second highest was category was filtered. So through the data, we found that conventional filters weren't always effective in eliminating arsenic. Um, the most common filters used were built into your fr built into fridges as well as whole house filters. Um, on average, the un unfiltered samples had about 7.8 parts per billion arsenic, whereas filtered samples had about 7.2 parts per billion arsenic showing that filtration does reduce the amount of arsenic in water. So there's over 200 mineral species that contain arsenic, and one of the most prevalent ones is arsenopyrite, which is an iron uh, arsenic sulfide. And for iron to uh, bond with arsenic, it's pretty substantial because um, it shows a slight trend in the graph where if iron is present, there's a slight chance that arsenic may be as well. And um, arsenic and iron, iron being one of the only metals to actually um, 
show any correlation with arsenic. Uh, we tested lead and we saw no trend in uh, arsenic levels for that substance. <coughs> so there's something called the reverse osmosis system. It's a process that forces water through a semi-permeable membrane and structure, and it leaves contaminants behind in the your drinking water. It's very effective at removing arsenic as well as lead, pesticides, and other contaminants. So as you can see in this diagram, the contaminated water passes through a tank of beads that remove the arsenic from the water, and it's later pumped out for and there is something called the zero water filtration system. It is a five stage filtration and that's different compared to most two stage filtration systems. It removes 99% of total dissolved solids. And these filters were found to reduce the arsenic concentration of arsenic three and arsenic five from 1000 parts per billion to 1000 parts per billion. And 75 out of 78 had an arsenic concentration to less than one part per billion. They are very affordable. You can purchase them for $20 <laughs> at Target. And we are attempting to use this filter on wells that had high levels of arsenic and retest. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. <laughs>